Hey, Mr. Gibson here, and I'd like to show you how we're going to start posting art from here on out. Um, we are going to use something called Padlet. And Padlet is just a website that you can access on any device and put a piece of art up on post. So how do you get to Padlet? A couple ways. First of all, if you are in my LMS, um, Haley Comets, Art with Mr. Gibson, you can access this through the new site. This is also under the week three category as well. So there's a couple places even on LMS. So if you click that, that'll take you to the brand new Google site, Art with Mr. Gibson. And here is where all the Padlet pages are found. Another way to get to this page would be through Clever. If you get to Clever and you find Mr. Gibson's art page, you can find this tab with the palette on here, Art with Mr. Gibson. You might want to put a little heart on there and then you can find it before this page. But I can click on that and this will also bring me to this page. Okay. So once you are in this page, you can find your grade level specific Padlet posting page. All right. And you can go ahead and read this um, little disclosure. Um, this is a place to sign up for Padlet and a video on how Padlet is used for students. There's just little details about it. I won't go into that in this video. So once you have gone through that process and have a Padlet account and you are ready to make a Padlet post, of course, you need to complete a piece of art first, you can click the grade level specific tab for your grade. Once you are in here, you will see a couple things. First thing you're gonna see is your grade level and a QR code. This QR code is scannable. You can use any device with a camera lens to find the Padlet post page with the QR code, or you can click the QR code. See how the finger goes up? I won't click on it yet. I have it all open here in these tabs. Um, and then when you scroll down, you'll just see the current project. And then there'll be the project archive will be the previous projects. You can click this, button here and that will also take you to the Padlet page as well. This is some instructions on how to use Padlet beyond what I'm telling you now, but this is just the basics. Post properly and don't put things in the wrong place. All right, so let's say you have completed your art, you're ready to turn in your Padlet post. Okay, you can scan it with the device you took a picture of your art on. So maybe you used an iPad or your phone. You can go ahead and scan the QR code so you can get to the Padlet page directly on that device. Or if it's on your computer and you have saved it to your computer, you can just go ahead and click the Padlet code and then I will take you to the page. Once at the page, you need to make your post. Okay, there are instructions here. Name, class code, according to your teacher and your grade level. Please only post art that is finished and in the correct category. All right, so to do that, you hit plus, that'll bring up a new post block. In the title, go ahead and put your name. Now, if you have an account, your name will automatically pop up, which is really good, okay? But make sure you put your class code into this title for me as well, if your name pops up. I also would like you to write something about your art. It could just be the title of the art or the project title. Or if you wanna give a short description, you may do so. So hit the up arrow button. That will upload you pick the file and this will open up your files and you can decide on where your image is click on it and then upload that to the site once that is done it'll pop up in here and then i will have to approve it it will be in there you've played you made your posts that way but then i have to approve it further um let's say you don't have this saved or maybe you open this on your phone you can hit the camera option and this will bring up the camera. You can hold your art in front of the camera and take a picture, okay? I don't recommend that you do it this way because you're probably gonna have your fingers in the way and you probably have things in the photo that don't have anything to do with your art. So take a picture of your art with the device separately if you can and then upload it through the site. Okay, you'll get a higher quality image and we won't have to see your fingers in your art. So hopefully this will work for you. Let me know if you have any problems. Email me and good luck out there.